in this lecture we will gonna creating HTML structure of our uploading system so let's just get going let me open notepad plus plus we will we will create the very uh, basic HTML first this is the HTML5 attribute which show the browser which actually tell the browser that it is the HTML based document so it is helpful for browser to render the HTML in a better way now we have head and we are gonna use body now body close here and now we will close HTML here as well this is the basic structure of our any document that we will gonna build let me do the header work in header what we will gonna do first we will gonna create the meta meta tag for character set what character set do it is actually define what kind of a character set we will gonna use in our document as you all know that uh, there are too many uh, character sets this next thing we will gonna do is title you can give any title as you want but what we will gonna do we will gonna add advanced uploader now title close pretty much basic stuff and what we will gonna use in our uh, document uh, as external things as i told you that we will gonna use jquery so we will have to actually add the jquery library as well as we are using the drag and drop functionality so we will also have to include jquery ui library so let's just quickly add them we will gonna use script source we will gonna we will gonna get the libraries from google library uh, you can get the links uh, wherever you want and we will also gonna do the same thing for for our jquery ui i'm getting these two from external sources and one thing we also have to do here we will have to include the external style sheet of jquery ui library so let me add link link is the element we use for inserting or adding the external css files i will give the reference of of the external source and we will gonna say the relation it's in a style sheet okay that's pretty much it let me grab the url again this is the links i will i will drop these links into the lecture description so you can get the links from there don't worry about that and even you can uh, get these links from any of the website you like there are tons of websites available who provide the links of libraries so we we are done here for a header let me save it up as you can see we will gonna create the folder here it is our XAMPP folder and as you can see XAMPP and in XAMPP you all probably know that we will have to add all the files in htdocs so we are in htdocs right now i am creating the new folder i am a window user so those of you who use mac uh, will kind of get confused but don't confuse because it's a very simple thing what i'm doing i just go to the htdocs folder and i'm creating a folder upload in which we will gonna add all our files and we will access that upload folder for our result or for our display so let me open upload folder and here i will gonna create the file and as you all know in php index.php is the default file to load the document so index.php this is what we will gonna work on index.php is saved now i have to create the body of the uh, uploader so let's just create i'm gonna create the div as you all know table is really old so we're gonna use div and i will give the id of this main so it will be the main container of our section let me close it now what we will go gonna do we will gonna create the drag and drop section so it will be another div and i will give the id of this div is whatever you can just do i am just i'm giving it drop sec section section sec for short 
I don't want to write a lot. So this is what I'm doing. For class, we do not want to give the class for now. Just so make it empty. Don't worry about that. You can even skip this. And for text that will be hold between is drop here. So it will tell the user whoever come that drop here. So user can drop. We will also style it so it make sense to everyone that this is the uh, this is the place where we have to dra drop the file. And the next thing that we will gonna do is create the input, the very basic things. Input type. It will be file, as you all know. File is used to select the files. It's the HTML element, and we're gonna give the name of file simple make it just simple and we're gonna give the id of button data and one thing more uh, if you want to use for just a single file you do not have to write this but if you want to use it for multiple files as much as a user can add then you have to use it multiple so what it will do, it will allow user to select multiple files. Otherwise, it won't. And I can show you as well when we will render this, we will we will see that button. It will be the button to actually select. We do not gonna use the submit button because we will gonna control all these process using JavaScript or jQuery. We won't gonna use the HTML default form. As you can see, I didn't add any form here. So yeah, that's the thing. Button and we will gonna say upload here and just close the button. Yeah, this is the section we we will gonna use for drag and drop as well as the button which sorry which will allow user to click on it and select the files as a normal thing. Now what we will have to do next is to create the progress bar. We'll again gonna use the div. All this structure will built on div. This is the standard of new HTML5. We will gonna give the class of progress main. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed the code here. It will be the main class, and inside it, we will gonna create the actual progress bar which will work according to the event and we will gonna say id of progress sec sec means section and we will gonna give, give the class progress all the process that happen for progress bar will be contained in that so here we're gonna add another div and it will be the div which move according to the size of our file as much as file will upload as more as this div will increase it with class progress bar if this thing is not making any sense to you don't worry don't get frustrated we will gonna understand each thing when it come to design it so don't worry about that and now we will also have to create the cancellation button so what we will gonna do is give the class of cn btn cancellation button for short here we will gonna close the button as well and we will gonna create another div which will hold our uploaded result we will gonna say it result and again just for make the layout perfect because we will gonna float it you will see later we will gonna add the class clear what it will do it will it will 
it will not do anything else except just make the both floats clear so it will not mess with rest of the layout so we are pretty much done here now let me just give you the little bit more overview let me first save it save it okay now let me tell you this this is probably making sense to you that it is a simple html attribute this is you know html is the uh, basic tag had also you know about that meta tag you probably don't know most of you just uh, it is a new thing for you but it just tell the browser that we are using utf8 you can go to google and see how many uh, character types available all the time maybe mostly you use utf8 okay title you all familiar with that just a basic thing in link it is the it is the attribute or you can say the element which used to connect external style sheet css file so what we will gonna do here we will gonna add the jquery ui css file to our file so we are using link we just gave the reference herof to the library online library which available and you can use it and we gave the relation to our file to this link our style sheet so browser can see that it is the style sheet and next we simply just get the script from the external source as i just mentioned up so for G, uh, for js we use a script oh i'm sorry i made a mistake here thank god i just reviewed that you probably know that there are two types of element in html the one which automatically get close like link as you can see here and the one which we have to close manually like a script a script is a element which we have to close by ourselves like div you see this div is open here and close here if we say input you see input is the automatically closed one we just have to close it right away we do not have to do like this it will be wrong so there are two types of element in html as well okay so we were here and then header close then body start you all know about body which contain the actual result we just have created the the div which will hold all the result all the rendered layout we will gonna style all these things in the next video so don't worry about that for now get going with me and here is the div which will we will use to show the actual section of our drag and drop we will style that later so we just gave the idea of uh, drop sec and we just put the text drop here so user can see oh this is the place just drop it here in here we just created the input type file the very basic thing for those user who will click on this button when the user will click this button it will trigger this and the pop-up of file selection will open you will see don't worry about that for now so these two things also clear next thing progress bar we will gonna create the progress bar so we need a section for that as well so i just create the div in which we will hold two or three things the progress bar itself the result of our upload and the cancellation button so this this section is the progress bar this button is the cancellation button and this section we will gonna add the you uh, sorry we will gonna add the result in this div so let's just talk about the progress main in progress bar it's a progress section which we will define in style sheet the size the height width and the position of it and inside it we will put the actual progress bar which will move which will have the color so which show the user that 
this is the progress going on right now we will move it using javascript this is the cancellation button it will be a simple button we will gonna style it later and this will be the as i told you the result section if you know how to access we will have to write localhost then slash and then the folder if we go here and we see upload this is the folder in which we put our index.php so we will gonna use the name of this folder so write it slash you can use index.php like that or you can skip this because as i told you index.php is the default file whenever browser load it will automatically capture the index.php file if none of the file is select so if we hit you see this as i told you it's pretty messy because we haven't we haven't styled it yet we will gonna come in next lecture and we will gonna style it so don't worry about that keep watching the lectures and you will gonna learn in a perfect way okay so take care for now bye bye